Hi, I'm Amy and I'm a documentary filmmaker. I studied a Bachelor of Journalism and a Bachelor of Communication at UQ and graduated in 2015. Since then, I've been able to produce a bunch of different documentaries in locations all around the world. And today I'm gonna to give you my top tips for documentary filmmaking. One of the most important things that you can do when you're planning out your documentary is to understand your purpose. The purpose is what you want your story to say to your audience, and most importantly, why your audience should care. Perhaps you want to educate them on a particular topic, or maybe you want to explain an idea or issue in more detail. I like to come up with five keywords to help define my purpose. This helps me to refine my story idea and really focus on what I actually want my documentary to say. Once you've figured out your purpose, you can then figure out who you need to speak to. There are normally three different types of characters in a documentary film. The first is the heart. The heart is the emotional centerpiece of your story. It's the person who the audience is going to connect with the most and who's going to appear on screen for the most amount of time. The helper is the person who supports the heart. They add value to what the heart is saying. The helper effectively says what the heart can't say about themselves. So for example, if I was to say that I was the world's best documentary filmmaker, you might not think that was true. But if my best friend said it, you might think that that was more genuine and real. The third person is the expert. The expert is the person who's super knowledgeable about the topic of your documentary and whose expertise helps to add credibility to what your documentary is saying. In addition to getting interviews with all of these characters, you should also try and get B-roll or cutaway footage of them in their everyday lives. But try to avoid setting it up or staging it. The audience can kind of tell that this isn't real. Instead, see what activities or events are going on in that person's lives which relate to your documentary and ask if you can tag along and do some filming. The footage you capture should help to show the who, what, when and where of your story. Before you start filming, it's a good idea to come up with a shot list so that you can plan out what it is you need to capture to cover every aspect of your story. Think about it this way. If somebody says something, do you have footage that can help to visualize what's being said? When you're filming, you should also try to use different kinds of framings and movements. For instance, a static close-up is really good to use if you want to communicate important information, show emotion or focus on fine details. A gentle wide panning shot is good if you want to move through a space or establish location. You should also try and capture a scene from a few different angles so that you have more than enough b-roll and cutaway footage to use when you're editing your final story. So hopefully these tips have been helpful and remember competition entries close on June 20th. Good luck!